Hello and welcome to another Photoshop Elements tutorial. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take a photo and wrap it around an object. Now in the full version of Photoshop we have the warp tool and this does a great job of wrapping things around our objects. But in Photoshop we have to use a little bit of a hack. One of my viewers Sandy asked me how I could do this and so I have this picture of this mug and we're going to wrap this picture around the mug. Let's go ahead and start over with a picture of a plain mug. I'm going to close both of these down right here. And now I'm going to open our picture of our mug. We have this picture of this mug right here. I'm going to select open. And there we have our mug. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to make a copy of this as a Photoshop document so we can use a displacement map. So I want to enhance this first of all by going to the Enhance, Adjust Lighting, and Levels. We're going to slide the black marker over a little bit. We want to give it a little bit more contrast. We want to slide the white marker over to the left just a tiny bit. And then we want to slide this gray marker over to the right just a tiny bit, giving it a little bit more contrast. Select OK, and then go to File, Save As, and we want to save this as a Photoshop document. I already have this saved as mug.psd so let's save that. Now that we have that saved we need to go back to our original mug file so let's use the undo command or the command or control Z. Do that twice and now we have our original mug. Now we need to open the file that we want to wrap around the mug. Go to file, open, and then I have this picture of the sunflower that I took during fall. Hit Command A, which will select your entire photo. Then Command C to copy. And then go to the other tab where your mug sits and then press Command V. Now if we select the Move tool right here, you'll get these little handles up there. If you grab one of the corner handles right there and resize this, to the size that you want to put on the face of the mug right there. And then we can tick this green checkbox right here when we're done. The next part we're going to do is the wrapping part. And if you ever look at a mug and you start to see the sides, it looks as if the image is getting squished just a little bit. But if we grabbed this right handle right here and squished it, it would be squishing the entire picture and that's not what we want. So let's tick the red box right there. We need to just squish the very right and the very left side where the image is going around the cup or the mug. So let's use the marquee tool. I'm going to cut a piece of this image off right here by selecting anywhere around this right part of the image. And then I'm going to use the shortcut Command Shift J. That means layer via cut. And what it did was it cut this right side and put it on a new layer. If you hit the Command T shortcut, that gives you the transform. And if we choose this side handle now and bring that in, you can see that it's starting to squish just the right hand side of the photo. Tick the green checkbox again. Then go back to our original picture, which is on layer one. Select an area on the left side of the picture, about the same amount that you had on the right hand side. Then use the shortcut that we just used, Command Shift or Control Shift J, and that will put that one on a new layer. Use the Command T or the Transform, grab the left hand handle, and then squish the picture in just a little bit. Tick the green checkbox when you're done, and both sides of the image have been squished in just a tiny bit. Now we need to merge these layers. So in the Layers palette, if you go to the top layer, hold your Shift key down and go down to the bottom layer. Then right click in this blue area, you'll get the Merge Layers option right there. Now what we need to do is we need to warp this a little bit. So what we need to look at is the shape of the mug at the top because we're going to recreate this little dip right here and this little dip right there. We need to essentially drag the top of this photo down so that it looks like it is going around the mug 
and then we need to drag the bottom of this photo down so it looks like it's going around the mug. So do a good job of trying to remember the shape of your mug. Now we need to go to Filter, Distort, and then Liquify. Now in order for this to work, we need to have a brush that's just a tiny bit bigger than our picture. You can use the left and right bracket keys to make this brush bigger and smaller. Then when you're happy with the size, go to the center of the photo, click on the top, and then drag it down, trying to remember the shape of the mug. So I'm going to bring mine down until I have that round shape, or the semi-round shape. And then I need to go to the bottom of the photo, click in the middle here, and then drag the bottom of this down until I have the same shape as well. If you don't have enough room, you can always go back to the top again, click again, and then drag this down just a little bit more. When you think that you have the shape of the mug simulated, you can click the OK button. Now you may not get this the first try. As you can see, I didn't really drag it down uh, enough here, I guess, at the bottom. But at the top, I did a fairly decent job right there. Now we need to use a displacement map to wrap this around just a little bit better. So I'm going to go to Filter, Distort, and then go to Displace. 10 and 10 is what we want. Stretch to fit and wrap around. Select OK. And then you see the one that's highlighted is the one called Mug. So I'm going to select Open and OK. It wrapped the picture around the mug just a tiny bit more. But if we need to move this just up and down to kind of center this on our mug, we can use the arrow keys until we get it to where we want it. Now the final stage of this is to change the opacity a little because it doesn't look that believable. So I'm going to drop this opacity on this layer down to about 80. And then if I click anywhere on any of the tools, you'll see that the bounding box goes away. And we have our mug with our picture on it. Now the great thing about using this method is that you can turn the visibility layer off of this picture and then you can copy and paste other pictures and do the same technique that we just did. Now if you want to save this out and you're saving this on a web for a catalog, we can go to File, then Save for Web, and then you have a lot of options right here. If you want to have it saved out as a GIF, you can save it there or you can check the JPEG and then you can select what kind of quality that you want and what kind of compression that you want so that people can see it on their mobile phone without using too much data. It even gives you a little bit of a preview of how much space it's going to take or what the size of the file is. Now I'm going to hit cancel. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos. Give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and share this video with your friends. If you have any suggestions, please put them in the comments or message me through YouTube and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Cheers and have a great weekend.